Hi. How's it going? Welcome to Gearbox Gaming Podcast. I'm Jack. I'm Morris. And blah, blah, blah. Jack's a dick. We all know this. <laughs> Just because that was in the notes doesn't mean you have to say it, but I'm glad you did. Today and we're professional with coffee. Starbucks coffee. Not yeah. sponsored. Not sponsored. Not sponsored. No sponsors. LLC. Trademark. Copyright symbol. <laughs> <laughs> Well, today we've got a little bit of a, of a podcast for you. Yeah. Um, and this time, Morris actually has news. I do have news. Um, I've got some game stuff that I've been looking up um, for a while. I do frequent Kotaku and a PC Gamer. Um, all of today's articles will be through Kotaku, because PC Gamer didn't have a lot of nice stuff recently. <laughs> um, but I have a few that kind of caught my attention is... There's a guy who made a wedding proposal to a Borderlands theme. And it was really cool. He designed an app for his wife, and she had to go through these different missions that were voiced over by the actual characters of Borderlands. I'm sure he, like, really? you know, redid everything so he'd make it to where... Uh, I mean, he didn't have the professionals recorded. Yeah, obviously. But you get what I'm saying. Um, he even designed a scaled size uh, of the treasure box... And when she opened it up, it was the ring. It was really cool. You know, she followed it along. It was just... I thought it was amazing. Uh, I definitely know if a girl or a guy... Wink, wink. Just kidding. Uh, oh, dear But God. seriously, I would seriously think about um, doing that for my wife one day. Or something similar. By the way, I, we don't criticize um, people for what they believe in. We are very outspoken, so please don't get upset about us. <laughs> As he leans in. Hi, my name is Jack, and we have turned this into an ASMR video. Oh my god. <laughs> Today, I will be doing The Cause right. of the Wild. Alright, alright, alright. <laughs> um. So what do you think about that? About like, this? honestly, that was... Probably one of the best wedding proposals that I've ever seen. Yeah, I can certainly agree that that was really cool. Like, and it's cool because I've heard of people doing like a treasure hunt for the for the ring and yeah. then like not telling the other person about it. But Borderlands specific treasure hunt, even better. I mean, he designed an app for it and and designed the app for it. That's that's props, man. I yeah. give you props. Definitely, she better have said yes. She did. She did. Thankfully, she said she yes. She said yes. Good. Yeah. Um. So we're going to take off track from uh, couples onto a guy who's probably very lonely. <laughs> um, Why is he lonely? He's lonely because he spent three years building a 24-foot-long, one in a 40th scale of the USS Missouri out of Legos. Holy Christ. Um, Legos. I, Legos. Yeah, Legos. Legos. Yeah. Legos. Yeah. Legos. Yes. <laughs> um, Jim uh, McDonough uh, is something like that. It looks like donut without a T. Um, he does Lego boats all the time for, you know, naval history. He's got a lot of Japanese cruisers and stuff like that. But, man, 24 feet long of the USS Missouri. That, uh, uh, like, it's got all the cannons, all of the little detailed things. I wonder if he scaled the inside as well. No. That'd be amazing, but probably not, because that would take, like, l non Lego things as well. But if he did, props to him. Definitely. Uh, he, he, however, did say he does not use glue in his builds. That's impressive. Uh, yeah, holy crap. Like, the fact that he trusts the Legos themselves to stand. Yeah. Insane. It's amazing. Um,. I don't know if it's his granddaughter, so he actually may be married, and his wife is just very, very loving. Uh, I, this guy is really cool, in my opinion. I don't, you know, women should like men like this who do awesome, amazing things. Hopefully, he's not blowing their entire budget, though. Um, I'm sure he just see? had to make one purchase. That's a large purchase. Yeah. Holy Christ. <laughs> it might have been and a very... It had to be shipped on the USS Missouri. Probably <laughs> so. Um, but no, it was really cool. He's, uh, he's got, it looks like he's got a granddaughter in one of the pictures here. Um, but yeah, I definitely, 
I think it's really cool. You guys should check them out on, check out the article on Kotaku for more. Um, you'll find it if you just search for fishermen spent three years building massive 24 foot long Lego USS Missouri. And we should actually put the links to these in the description. I think we shall. I'll have to look them up on my laptop. But yeah. That'll be easy to find. We'll get you guys taken care of. Yeah. Um, we'll do all the hard work for you. Yeah. Uh, cause this is a listening thing, not a pay attention too much thing. <laughs> well, they gotta pay attention to listen. Yeah. Not, but they don't have to watch. And but not like, visually. Yeah. Um, now the next one is one that Steam users will laugh about. Um, Holy crap. Yeah. I'll go ahead and say, Steam has been uh, very loose about what's been coming on recently. Starting off with the beginning of it all, that I assume, is Sakura Spirits. Um, which, they don't really show you pictures of what the actual game's going to be. You think it's going to be a text-based or not a text-based game. You know, you choose what you're going to do. Kind of an rpg style. Yeah. No. Uh, although the teenage anime... Like one of those small platform yeah. games. All the, t- the teenage anime in me wanted to be like, Oh, buy this! Pretty girls! RPG-style anime! Let's go for it. And then it got s- very sexual. Quickly. I have not finished the game. <laughs> Um, but now Steam is getting an uncensored sex game. Oh my god. Kindred Spirits on the Roof is a game about two ghosts who are eternally bound at a school until they bone each other. How about that? (laughs) He's just so amazed he doesn't know what to say. Um, we all know that Steam has gotten flooded with these kind of games. It's crazy. But now in a, a completely uncensored one? I don't know. That seems a little off to me. I don't... Hey, who knows? That might be, like, one of their best games. I don't know. But then again, you know, a game where it's about ghosts boning each other. Yeah. It's it's all about sex in this. It's, it definitely... There's no other way to describe it. Um, and that's pretty much it for... You know, the interesting game stuff of the past, you know, week or two. Uh, so I guess, do you have anything to say about any of that stuff? Uh, the, well, the, besides the fact that I just hit my wall and I don't think I should have done that. <laughs> um, I, it's crazy that they're making an uncensored sex game. Yeah. Mr. Lego Man is awesome. Three years to build the SS Missouri. Yeah, he's got a lot of other builds, too. It doesn't take that long, but that's his... And then the treasure hunt proposal via Borderlands. Yeah, there was, there was also a Metal Gear Solid wedding that the bride and groom walked down the aisle in under boxes. Really? It was really cool, uh, but it was a really short article. Didn't have much to say, so I kind of just... I left it alone. Um, I'll link that in the description just so people can see it. Okay. Uh, oh, damn it, phone. <laughs> You've broken the rule of podcast. I have broken the rule of podcast. Ah, uh, tis, tis, tis. Oh, I'm sorry, that rule won't bro- break again. Oh. Yu-Gi-Oh time! Yes, Yu-Gi-Oh time. And as I said last week, you know, this last weekend was YCS Toronto. And I couldn't, I didn't get, I didn't find all eight of the top eight decks. Yeah. But I'm just going to go out on a leg here and say that they were all basically the same three decks. Yeah, that's fair. First, the first place winner, I'm going to tell y'all. Uh, and if, if you watch this Mr. First Place winner of YCS Toronto 2015, I am so sorry if I butcher your name. Oh, no. <laughs> Let's pull out the knives and get a few rags, because we got some cleaning up to do. His name was Gabriel uh-huh. Orosan Wine. Or he, he <laughs> well, must... <laughs> you already messed up, I can tell. <laughs> I'm sorry if I butchered your name. It could be Gabrielle, and he just is cool like that. Yeah. But he won with Burning Abyss course i honestly believe that would have been the deck to win worlds yeah if it had been allowed what burning abyss oh oh yeah because it was tcg if it had not been banned 
It, only because it was a TCG exclusive. Yeah. OCG doesn't have Burning Abyss. Yeah. Oh, okay. I but they're getting Burning Abyss. Are they? Yes. Oh, this is going to be interesting. And works. they're not getting it like we got it. They're getting it all at once. Holy crap. This is going to be an interesting world, for sure. Next year it will be, yeah. yes. That's if they don't well, get hit the tournament, now and then. The tournament year has already begun. Yeah. Pretty much it begins right after. This was the first YCS of the year. Yeah, so definitely. Here we go. And um, people open the door as we are in podcast right now. Hey! I'm sorry. Uh, but, so if you'd like to move on to the next one. Uh, and then some more decks that topped up. I'm, that was the only person whose name I'm going to mention. Uh, some of the other decks that topped. Necros got second place. Okay, I can that, say that. I can see that. Uh, a few more Burning Abyss players. Someone played Perform Age Necros. Really? You know the, uh, the Clown pro- Blade engine? Uh-huh. It, the Clown is Perform Age. Yeah. And that's an archetype itself. Okay. And so they kind of mixed it together? Yeah. Okay. And I guess then, that replaces the uh, gin lock. I guess. <laughs> and then uh, a Sateller player was there. But this being a new tournament year, they had to bring out a new prize card. Oh, okay. This year's prize card is Minerva, the Exalted Light Sworn. Oh no. I'm sure any of you who have watched us before know my distaste for Light Sworns. And I'm pretty sure all of y'all who have watched this before know my love for the deck. But first place winner got the only ultra rare copy. Alright. And second and third place both got super rare copies. Okay. That's pretty good. Then. Now that's gonna be the prize card. What's, uh, what's the stuff? What is it? Her effects? I'm not sure. Oh, okay. I haven't really looked her up. You can look her up. And I'll, we can look, tell I'll everybody. look her up while you continue on. That's actually all I got. You don't have anything else? The to talk exalted about? lights one. But we shall um, look it up. <laughs> okay, they're not showing it too well, but she does look very pretty. <laughs> um. View image. Yeah. Alright, so now you're gonna get you guys will get to hear And it's a pretty long effect. Yeah. Uh two level four monsters, so you can make a rank four. Uh, oh she's d- generic. Yeah. Oh crap. Uh you can detach one XYZ material from this card, send the top three cards of your deck to the graveyard, then draw cards equal to the number of light sworn cards sent to the graveyard by this effect. If this card is destroyed by battle, or this card in its owner's possession is destroyed by an opponent's card effect, you can send the top three cards of your deck to the graveyard. Then you can destroy cards on the field to the number of light sworn cards sent to the graveyard by this effect. You can only use each effect of Minerva, the exalted light sworn, once per turn. Holy Christ. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and apologize for any background noise. Um, but she's got a cool little... Little owl, I think it is. Yeah, she just looks cool. Oh yeah. Honest. Um, she's a ginger too. Yeah. <laughs> no comments. <laughs> but uh, oh man, I should have looked up the next tournament. Hold up. You uh, should. Well, while he goes on to that, I apologize. Um, really so good. now people can maybe get rid of Judgment Dragon. Nope. Hopes and prayers. Nope. That Mars? prize card is like, probably going to make more people play Lights once. Yeah. Well, the only thing is that no one's ever... Like, only a handful of people are going to get to play it. Because, they, you know, <laughs> she's the only one. Is she on another card, perhaps? Uh, I don't think so. They usually do that. They'll throw her on a different card. Oh, well. Um, it is good to see new cards. Is there any new cards coming out uh, this season? Uh, I don't know what's supposed to come out in the next big set, but the next big set doesn't come out until November. Yeah. I understand. I guess while he's looking up uh, events. events for Yu-Gi-Oh. When is the next event? The um, next event is YCS Monterrey, Mexico. Mon- oh, Monterey. Monterey. Oh, you just got, you're in a lot of trouble now. I'm in a lot of trouble. Yeah. <laughs> Monterey, Mexico. I'm sure, uh... I apologize Gabriel, to all my Hispanics. Gabriel... No, he's or, a white guy. No, I'm just saying, he's... No, he, uh, with, along uh, with him. Yeah, along with him. People every, are offended. I apologize, everybody. I'm not good with names. That's not a name. Well, yeah, that's, that is a name of 
a town. <laughs> um, and that is up oh, this weekend. Oh, is it? Yep. Okay, well, we'll have to bring some news on that next week. We next will Wednesday. definitely bring news on that next yeah, week. Hopefully we'll have a little bit more news. But uh, Yeah, I should I should have done a little more studying this week. I, I honestly forgot about the podcast. No, it's okay. I did, too. I mean, thankfully, Kotaku is a good source of uh, information. Oh, yeah. Um, uh. Well, I think we can uh, cut this podcast short. I think we've uh, pretty much conveyed all of the nerd stuff that we want. Yeah. Okay. Um, Hold on one second. Well, while you're doing that, I... Never mind. <laughs> that doesn't come out till December. Oh, okay. Well, we'll talk about that later in the yep. year. Um, but, uh, you know, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, definitely, I want to recommend a few... Uh, a podcast is uh, Stuff You Should Know. Okay. Um, even if they don't know that we're recommending them, definitely go check them out. Uh, Stuff You Should Know podcast or stuffyoushouldknow.com. Um... The two guys, Chuck and Josh, they're hilarious. They are very entertaining. They teach you a lot of stuff about the world that you don't know. Um, it's just random facts sometimes, but they do video. They did do a video of how socialism works. Um, you know, a lot of people are like, socialism's evil, but you know, if there's different kinds, and they teach you about this, and they, you know, they enlighten you. And if you still don't like the ideas of the other socialisms, then hey, that's fine. But uh, it's definitely, if you want to expand some knowledge on sometimes important facts, definitely check out their podcast. Uh, so we'll link it in the description for the website. Um, I, the podcast app on iTunes is definitely there. So that's my recommendation for today. Okay. Thank you guys so much for listening. This has been Gearbox Gaming Podcast. I'm Jack. I'm Morris. And we will see you guys another dimension. Thanks for stopping by.